overnight that manhunt for the migrants believed to be involved in that attack on NY off, NYPD officers in Times Square. ICE officials taking four people into custody captured at a bus station in Phoenix after they allegedly left New York City days ago. The NYPD now working to piece together exactly how they got there and what happened following their arrest here in New York. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Hugh live in Lower Manhattan with what we know this morning. Janice. Good morning, Mike. So we know at this point the NYPD is working with ICE to determine if, in fact, these are the four men who fled New York City after being charged with the attack on the two officers. Um, and right now, ICE is processing those four men for immigration violations. A spokesperson with ICE says the four men who they believe are the suspects in this attack were on a bus heading from El Paso to Phoenix. And yesterday, authorities say they arrested another person person seen in this video, though he isn't seen assaulting the officers. Police picked up 19 year old Carlos Durante on five active warrants in Queens. He has not yet been charged with anything related to this attack. Meantime, the only man given bail, Yo Henry Brito, was indicted by a grand jury yesterday. Now, the charges against him will be unsealed next month, but we do know at this point he pleaded not guilty to all of the charges. He is the man who police say initially resisted arrest before the group of men started kicking and punching the officers. Now, Mayor Adams was in Albany yesterday, and he said he would consider executive action to allow the NYPD to cooperate with federal immigration officials. If the city council doesn't overturn the current laws that prohibit that. If I could have the authority, and if my team, legal team, tells me I have the authority to have cooperation with ICE for those who commit felony, dangerous crimes, that is something we would love to entertain and to look at. A couple more questions. Well, if indicted by the grand jury, all six of the suspects who have been charged in this will have to show up for court. Uh, meantime, immigration advocates are calling on the NYPD to release full body cam footage of that attack in Times Square.